<coughs> Hello and good morning everybody. We're out here at the Amistad Lake area outside of Del Rio. It was 90s the past two days, now it's 40s. Ah, this is horrible. Yeah, it's not pleasant out there. We're heading back into Del Rio, we're getting some groceries, we're getting a shower, and then we're heading to Big Bend National Park. We've been looking forward to it for a really long time. We've got a campground up there for four days, and hopefully it gets a little bit warmer because we're back into winter right now, as did, of now. Did you tell them what, what the temperature was yesterday? 90s. Yeah, crazy. Nether news, Foxy is peeing. Um, she's tinkling in our bed as well, so something else to think about. Yeah, but. she peed on my leg this morning. Might need to start putting a diaper on her. And Matt and I smell mainly me ripe. Watch, he might, he might not like cursing over here. Well, I mean, you shouldn't sit in the front of his RV and watch his. He's pieces. probably smoking skunk dunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact: I don't know if you can see me right now, but the guy in the RV across the way walked by our bus yesterday, looks at the bus, and goes. Hmm. I smell something skunk weed like goes like that and we go you should scout it out because it's not us <laughs> we'll need you back here champ i don't know if you can see that let me get closer but we already have it filled pretty much just need to add a little bit more but we're going up for a few days yeah I, and we're not sure if big bend has water or not so might as well be safe rather than sorry It's colder than a witch's tits out there. <laughs> uh, no, it's like, I wonder what wind chill actually is. It's really horrible. I'm gonna see. What, where do you see what it feels like? Feels like 34. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference from 90. Yeah. All right, take us to Walmart. All right. If you're gonna drive, you know, along the border, there are gonna be a lot of border checkpoints. And if you're like us and you are not even doing anything wrong, you're gonna get really stressed out. The more that we do them though, it is getting more comfortable. Like I, we understand what's going on, but it is still kind of intimidating to pull up somewhere and you have these officers who, you know, ask you, are you citizens, blah, 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 dog sniffing around. Like I'm always thinking, I hope there's nothing in here. <laughs> anyway, we made it through another checkpoint. Big Bend, here we come. 120 miles to the visitor center. Got a nice little rest stop, getting our breakfast. Everybody went potty. Nemo, are you excited for Big Bend? Hit the camera. Good. We are in Marathon, which coming from east to west is the closest town to Big Bend. So we need to get some gas, 375 a freaking gallon. All right, do your damage. And we've got a whopping 69 miles to Big woo, Bend. Woo, woo, woo. I got thir I got 13 and a half gallons, which should get us at least 100, and I would say 20 miles. She'll get us 130. Um, so she'll be playing to get into the park and then also get to Trilingua after. I'd like some Smokey the Bear here. What do you mean? I've just been thinking about that a lot lately. I'm like, really what are you thinking? I don't know. I just love Smokey the Bear. In the past, like, two years, I've wanted stuff. But, you know, prior, we were going on our walk, so I didn't buy anything. Then I was just looking at my bear socks, and I thought again, I'd like Smokey the Bear stuff. Check these out. Not Smokey the Bear, but you can see how, you know, it arises. I thought that because Matt just said that there is a fire ban in effect in the area, which made me think about Smokey Bear, only you can stop a wildfire. You get how that happens. Which one? This one? You should be able to see the first little section of this. You should be able to see me here. <laughs> you keep your eyes on the road. Thank you. 
Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's the map and digital. Perfect. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you too. Bye bye. bye. We stopped at the first visitor center coming in. I don't even remember the name of it now. Um, it's going to lead us to Panther Junction. Pa Panther Junction either goes down to the Rio Grande uh, Visitor Center and Campground, or you can go right and go to where we're going. The, the thing is, we need to do laundry, um, and now I'm wishing I would have filled up gas. We just checked the map. The Rio Grande Visitor Center has gas, so we're just going to get some more gas there. It's probably going to be five bucks a gallon, but it is what it is. I would like to put up a poll. Is it Rio Grande? Or Rio Grande? Answer below. Answer below? Yeah, comment section. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're checking out the fossil exhibit next. The last lady over there said it's probably one of the better things in the national park. So here we go. greatest places to explore North America's fossils. Look at this fish. Beamer. Of what? Uh, I think it's seven feet tall. Alamosaurus. Nice. Stand straight up. change of plans we will still be hitting the Rio Grande at some point we're gonna pause on that today mainly because I'm hungry and I don't want to drive another hour out of the way um, we're heading up to our camp spot and then we can let the dogs out as well driver okay Grace how are you feeling coming up to these what do they call them hairpins hairpins I'm feeling good I'm feeling strong there are two people behind me and I know I'm about to turn soon Right here. So, oh, right here. So, should I put on my blanket? Yes, yeah. We've made it up the hill. Now, the question is will the 24 foot bus fit in the 20 foot maximum spot? We went to the visitor center, it's jam packed. We're not going to go there right now. Oh, wait, that's overflow part. And she says, Yeah, both. And I'm a little bit car sick. That's not Grace's fault. She did a great job, but I am definitely a little bit nauseous. Check this out. Bam. Bam. And it comes with a beautiful woman. Hell yeah, you guys. We just got the Rio Grande, or Grand, however you pronounce it. We got a site uh, for the 28th, so we're, we're good up here in the mountains for four days, and then we'll be able to check out the river down there. So one more thing to check out. Let's go, baby. We got a little pad thai action coming on here with you. Uh, we've got some peppers, we got some broccoli, we got some carrots, and we got a whole lot of noodles. Oh. She's gonna take a nap. We're gonna check out the campground. Foxy, when we get back, a little better behavior, okay? It's not too late to turn it around. Because we're at a national park, our first national park since Arizona, we're having a bottle of wine. And we're gonna go with the Seven Deadly Zins. Ah. Thank you, my lady. You're welcome. Are we choosing? Or are you... I don't have mine. To our first national park in Texas. All right. And Cheers. our only because we won't be able to make it to the other one. Yeah, that one we'll do in New Mexico. Cheers. Really great first day here. Um, having some issues with the solar panels for whatever reason, or not those, but the batteries. Um, so not going to be able to charge the other battery on this. So that's a wrap for day one in uh, Big Bend National Park. Tomorrow we're going to go on a short little hike. Hopefully be able to get our batteries charged and uh, keep showing you around.